The Lifgow and District Workmen's Club was one of Australia's first registered clubs. Workies opened its doors in 1887 with a membership of 19 locals. This year the club celebrates 130 years of service to the Lifgo community. I can't think of a Lifgo without Lifgo Workmen's Club. It's such a, a vital part of our, of our community. It's played an enormous important role of uh, making this community better. Uh, for all of us that, that live within it. I cannot remember the Workmen's Club not being there. It's kind of a central place that m most people, like when they have a family dinner or a birthday, it's always, you know, we'll have dinner at the club. The facilities we have is a second to none. We're probably one of the best organisations east of Penrith. 130 years in contributing to this community, I would expect over that period of time that there's been tens of thousands of organisations and individuals that have been supported, sponsored or helped by this wonderful club. Basically without the club being supporting the local community a lot of things just would not happen, whether it be suicide prevention, whether it be domestic violence, whether it be cancer support, all those other things. It's just vital that they're here. With the support of the, wor of the workies, uh, we're able to give every junior player like a jersey, their playing shorts, their socks. We're really grateful to them for helping us do that. At the end of the day, that's one of the reasons we're here, as well as looking at everyone else, but, but sporting groups and, and community groups that need our help. Although they hold their old values, they're still moving into the 21st century and they're doing it well and they're doing it in conjunction with the community and but continue to be the workies that we all know. As the membership grew, as the needs of the club grew, we found that we had to evolve and uh, meet those demands and change the, 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 the club itself to accommodate those uh, types of needs. To have the motel now and have the outstanding comments about how wonderful and welcoming and friendly our staff are across the board. And that's what we are, that's what Lithgow is. It is uh, it's very, very family friendly and we encourage that. My marriage re reception was here, my uh, surprise 40th birthday party was here, many of our family events uh, have been here. It kind of is a bit of a, a go-to place for me. Um, it also has a extremely personal connection with me because my father-in-law was the vice president of the Wormers Club and he, eh, sorry, so uh, he passed away two years ago. So it was always something that my family and my husband's family like used as a big part of their life. I love the Workmen's Club, I always have. It's always been a part of my life here as a local. It's about the people from before and it's about the people that's gonna come in after. But to, just to be part of it, extremely proud. It's a wonderful, wonderful facility. It's just an important part of our community. It's as important as our schools, as our hospital, uh, as everything else. I, as I said, I can't think of a Lithgo without the Lithgo Workers Club. If I were a betting man, I bet I'd know what you're thinking. What's a lady like me doing in an ad like this? Well, Crown Bet needed a new spokesman and they couldn't look past this guy. If I were a betting man, I could get better odds on every race at the touch of a button. I'd earn rewards points every, every time I bet and use them to redeem things like bonus bets Shh. and movie tickets. Oh, I love this part. Aliens? Are you kidding me? <laughs> or tickets to places you don't need to be quiet. I'd get live vision as it happens. Wherever I happen to be. Yes. <laughs> so if I were a betting man, I'd choose Crown Bet. It's a better way to wager.